Welcome back to another Tech Depth Prepare video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And this will be a teardown video in order to like see how Apple implemented more hardware um, upgrades. So for this, we're gonna need like a preheated mat at like around 80 to 90 degrees, a 0.8 millimeter panel of screwdriver, a 0.6 millimeter tri-point screwdriver, and a 1.2 millimeter Phillips screwdriver, isopropyl alcohol and 90% proof, and a curved screen disassembler to help alleviate the screen. First, we're gonna start by taking out the panel of screws. <coughs> heating the mat and like putting a little bit of alcohol around the edge of the screen just so like it will help um, dissolve a little bit the adhesive beneath it because this time around uh, Apple made like a very thin screen called the Super Retina XDR display which delivers like very stunning visuals and vibrant color uh, I would use an eye opener and try to poke a little bit around the corner just to try to lift slightly the screen and make sure you're lifting the screen with the frame because usually the common mistake in this type of procedure is that the technician usually separates the glass from the frame so you want to make sure that like you're lifting the frame and not the glass those screens are very sensitive so it's best to just like poke around it not trying to like completely using it and there it goes the screen lifts up like an open book and we're just gonna check that the screen still works after the tear down by turning it on checking it out Great, so now we're gonna remove the metal bracket covering uh, the battery connection and the LCD connection. And also like there is the proximity sensor attached at the top of the motherboard. So we're gonna remove the metal brackets on the top in order for us to like remove the connection of the proximity sensor. So this time around, like the front camera and the top speaker is actually attached to the frame of the phone. And there it goes. There comes the iPhone 13 Pro Max screen. So fun fact about this type of screen is that like currently right now, uh, there is no uh, aftermarket pieces. Um, Ever since after the introduction of the 13 series, like, I mean, necessarily 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, there haven't been any way to replicate in the industry copies. Uh, then we move on by removing screws that's covering the metal bracket of the rear camera. So actually the rear camera is a 12 megapixel wide uh, dual pixel lens and uh, 12 megapixel telephoto lens with a three times optical zoom and a 12 megapixel um, ultra wide 13 millimeter so this set of camera is actually only one piece moving on we're gonna like remove like the miscellaneous uh, screws and torque screws especially in this one it's covering the gps uh, antenna flex cable It's still implementing the sandwich board. And we're gonna remove the connection of the battery, the charging port, the front facing cameras. And I believe this is the GPS antenna flex cable. Uh, I'm sorry, the Wi-Fi, just underneath the top speaker. Now removing the connection of the rear camera, here it comes. and the small little brackets holding the top speaker has a tiny torque screw which we're gonna remove there comes the next step of 
this teardown is to actually apply isopropyl alcohol underneath the battery and warm it up like for like around five minutes so it can lift easy uh, one thing to note is that there is actually a tiny 5g antenna cable that goes along the battery and the 5g ribbon cable is actually soldered to the logic board underneath it and the only way to access it is to first remove the battery and there is going to be a connection on the edge that we need to remove a Phillips screw and disconnect then after that we should be able to remove the logic board and there goes the battery And by the way, if you're looking for any parts or tools uh, used on this video, check out the links below. If you're interested also in mail-in repair or data recovery service, check us out at techdub.com. We do it all every day. And there goes the little adhesive holding the last bracket of the 5G Flex module. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the last two Phillips screws holding the bracket and disconnect the flex cable and it goes all around the edge and it's located below the logic board. And there goes the logic board of the iPhone 13 Pro Max with the A15 Bionic chip. There is one last dark screws holding the top speaker of this 13 Pro Max. This time around, like Apple didn't like actually solder the proximity sensor on top of this top speaker. And there goes the front camera, which actually the front camera is linked uh, to the logic board for the face ID functionality. That little bracket is holding the LiDAR scanner and below is uh, the charging port dock with the stereo loudspeaker and the Taptic engine. The sound and the haptic system of the phone consists of the same usual vibrator motor Taptic engine and loud stereo speaker and underneath those sits the charging dock which Apple still implement the use of the lightning cable we still have yet to see where they would decide to use the USB-C for the next generation of iPhones but with the release of the new iPhone 15 Pro Max it's no longer a mystery And there goes the Taptic engine of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And there it goes. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the repair, check us out at techdebt.com or click the link below for mailing repairs. Thank you for watching.